Neuroscientist Dr. Heather Berlin is in Norway. Her mission to investigate the fourth contender for the ultimate in superhuman endurance. An extreme ice swimmer who endures colder water than anyone on the planet. How he's able to do this, I have no idea, but that's what I'm here to find out. Ram Barkai is from South Africa. He's 54 years old and can swim in ice cold water without a wet. Heather will compare Ram's reaction to cold with that of two average people. She wants to find out if he's controlling his body's responses through willpower. The requirements for this experiment are an ice bath chilled to a temperature of six degrees, male and female control subjects, and a heart rate monitor. We have them hooked up to these devices. We're gonna look at heart rate, which will come up right there. And then we can look at how long they're able to stay in and how long it takes for these initial physiologic reactions to occur. And perhaps Ram can control his better or reacts differently to them. First, the controls take the icy plunge. It's like getting in a cold swimming pool. Oh. <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> No. That's a great response. <laughs> Are you OK? <laughs> yeah. It was just an intense rush of pain. It, 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 it took my breath away. Can you take a look at the heart rate in the finger? It's 51. <laughs> wow. 51. That's a huge Straight spike. Off the bat. That's yeah, a that's massive only, increase. It's only been yeah. there for 17 seconds. Yeah. Heart rate is through the roof. Yeah. yeah. So cold. Just starting to oh. shiver now. That, that's the what's called shivering thermogenesis, where Ailey is now, her body is basically saying, I'm getting cold. What I'm going to start to shiver to try and create some heat. This is a fast heart rate of medical concern. My pulse rate must have been rocketing. It was really, in, like, fast and in my chest, I kept catching my breath. When cold water shocks the body, adrenaline is released. This makes the heart beat so fast, cardiac arrest can follow. If the person survives, the body desperately tries to conserve heat. Blood is forced away from the extremities, causing numbness, like the male control is now feeling. Losing the toes. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> What's Deep going breaths. on there is that there's this vasoconstriction at the periphery, the toes, it would be in the fingers, it would be in the nose. If they were submerged as exactly. well. Exactly, and it's that reduction in blood flow, that's what's causing the pain. The female control endures one minute, 22 seconds. The male control just eight seconds more. But will Ram be able to override the body's automatic response to cold water? Can he stop his heart rate spiking? And just, just immediately, though, no, no yeah, response at all, almost, is it? He's just chilling out. Well, 113. Yeah. It's actually just it's coming back down to baseline. He's yeah. under 100. In fact, he's now more relaxed in the water than he, than he was <laughs> to the outside. I mean, well, uh, that's the opposite reaction of what our controls had. They spiked up in heart rate, yeah. and he's actually going down. So this is his comfort zone. You can come on out. I mean, you didn't have that initial response. It's really a matter of mental control. I think he's trained himself to respond in this way. He's using his unconscious mind to control his body, and it just shows what the human mind is capable of doing. He lives by pushing his boundaries. That's the motivation to achieve more, to push further. I think it's a genuine sort of ability, and I, I felt it was very compelling.